Hey guys, hope y'all are doing well. I uh, hope your families are well and healthy. Uh, we want you to know we're so excited to see you this coming Sunday, June 14th, when we reopen our services. Uh, I know that a lot of you still are not going to be able to join us. You may have some health issues or some issues with your job that are going to prevent you from being a part of our community. We want you to rest assured our online services are going to continue. We'll still be able to watch those things uh, streamed as we have in the past. Our online Bible studies will continue as they have been. But right here at 10 a.m. this coming Sunday, we're going to be here. Come on inside and let's take a look at some of the things that we have in store for you. First thing you'll notice as you come is our doors will be propped open so nobody has to mess with door handles or worry about anything in that area. And then as you enter in the foyer, you're going to come to the round table right here in the middle. Um, in the center is going to be an offering box where you can drop your offering. Um, have one person from your family collect enough communion for your family. And of course, as always, we're going to have some hand sanitizer here so we can stay nice and clean. When you come around to the side of the table, you'll see the bulletin is here. And inside the bulletin is the fill in the blank for those of you who choose to follow along in the sermon that way. So we're minimizing the amount of paper that we are handling. We do still have our children's worship bulletins in case your children need something to do as well. And those options will be available on either side of the table. Now once you've collected your items from the center table in the foyer, our two outer sets of doors will be open. The center set will be closed. So whichever side of the foyer you come in on, go ahead and enter the auditorium through that set of doors that's going to be open for you. Now comes the part that some of you might not be super happy about, uh, and, and not because you don't understand what's going on, but maybe your pew might be roped off. Um, I know that's going to be a big change. You might have to move up one pew or back one pew, but I think we're going to get along. You'll notice that every other pew has been roped off so that we can maintain the proper social distancing requests from the CDC. Uh, you're also going to recognize that on the pews, we don't have those six-foot markers marked. We realize that every family is a little different size. And so instead of trying to anticipate those things, we're just asking you to maintain a spatial awareness of who is next to you and who is near you. Um, so those are the things that you're going to see in the auditorium. Our, our, our communion service will run as, as we typically have. We'll have a meditation and a prayer. We just simply won't be passing trays. So make sure you collect those supplies before you come in. When we leave the building, all the doors will be propped open so you can just kind of exit at your leisure. The one thing we do request of you is that um, as you are leaving, you're just mindful of the space that we have here. There's not a lot of empty space, so if you have conversations you want or need to have, make sure you just take those outside into this shaded area or into the parking lot to do those things so people can exit in a way that's free of obstacles. As always, we do want you to be mindful of your own health. It's so important that you are aware. If you're experiencing any symptoms at all, stay home, take advantage of those online services that we offer, uh, and be mindful of the many different ways in which people are processing the things that are going on in our culture today. Uh, there's so many things in that, that impact the way we think, the way we feel, and the things that we experience. And so we're really calling on each and every one of you to be mindful of your brothers and sisters who are here. Uh, you'll notice that we aren't requiring masks. Uh, we do recognize that the CDC has a pretty strong recommendation for that. Um, we also know that some of you don't believe the same way. Um, our greatest request is that you choose to come in not wearing a facial covering, that you are aware of those around you who may not be as comfortable as you are in that setting, and you honor that space. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you. We're looking forward to being back together. We've waited for this moment for a while. And we're so happy that it's here upon us. Let's do everything that we can to make sure, make sure that we continue to provide a safe environment where we can worship God together. We love you. We miss you. And we'll see you in just a few short days. Godspeed.